Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for joining us on your public holiday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So the 2nd of April marks World Autism Day. And in South Africa, more than 7,000 children are born with autism every year, which is an incredible number. Yet it's often not even diagnosed and seldom treated in the right way. So this morning, we are joined by Kerry Delport, who is the director at Autism Western Cape, to chat a little bit more about I think a very misunderstood mm. condition. Um, Kerry, uh, first of all, happy Easter. Thank you so Thank much you. <laughs> for joining us. I know um, you, your job is kind of a 24 7 thing because yeah. you have to be really connected and emotionally invested Absolutely. in this kind of work. It's so difficult for those of us who aren't experts in the field to understand what autism really mm. is because of the broad spectrum involved. Can you, yeah. can you walk us through the, the autism spectrum? Absolutely. So I love, I love that you're putting the, the kind of message on spectrum because that's exactly what it is. Um, it's a neurological condition, so it's a condition that impacts the way the brain takes in and processes information from the world around them. Um, and we see four main areas impacted in individuals who are autistic. We see language and communication impacted, um, we see social interaction, we see their behavior and their thinking, and that's where we see that kind of need for structure and routine. Um, and then we see the sensory processing, and in that for autistics, when you chat to them, that's the part they often find the hardest. It's that ability to manage and modulate information from the environment. So sound, light, touch, taste, smell um, can be overpowering or not getting enough. So, um, uh, As a new parent, I mean, it's, it's terrifying, but we can deal with this. We've got enough knowledge and enough of a community around us to be able to deal with this. But I Absolutely. think the most terrifying part of this process is that first identification. What are those early signs that, that can be a precursor. I know nothing is, is written in stone, but Absolutely. what are those first warning signs? So first things that people can look out for, um, reduced eye contact or lack of eye contact. Um, one of the biggest things we see parents, um, you know, as the sign that parents would take their children for a diagnosis is a lack of speech. Often when uh, your child isn't speaking by about age three, um, that's normally a, a big early sign. Um, that lack of social reciprocity. So, you know, children often when they play with toys, they'll come and they'll show an adult a toy. Yeah, um, where our autistic yeah. kids won't. They'll often just take the toy and they'll play with it and often quite repetitively. Um, the repetition gives them a lot of, um, uh, reduces their anxiety, makes them feel calm. Comfort, yeah. So yeah, we'll see a lot of those kind of plays. Um, I think the key thing here is to know that you are not alone if you're a parent who is Absolutely. in this space and that, that's where um, Autism Western Cape steps in. Yeah. What kind of work do you do? It must so, be quite dynamic, I would imagine. It is, it is. We do um, a huge amount of family support, so we do post-diagnosis support and counselling for parents um, and caregivers impacted. We do ongoing support. Um, run parent support groups. We do a lot of training and education around autism because you know there's still a lot of stigma around it, yeah. um, and so we're trying to get the word out that actually there's a lot of beauty in autism, and our kids and our adults are incredible, and we've got so much as as typical people, we've got so much to learn about, um, you know, about autism and about a different way of seeing the world. So we do a lot of training and awareness and advocacy um, around that, and then a lot of initiatives just to try and create inclusion for autistics in society because the reality is that they have a lot to bring to this world and it's society that just is not ready or not hearing them and not inclusive. Oh, I think most of us who consider ourselves well-adjusted struggle to find oh, our absolutely. place in society. So you can <laughs> you can imagine on that end of the spectrum. Yeah. Um, when you talk about initiatives and advocacy, we, we have an opportunity with Autism Hour for oh, all of us to get so on board. What, what is it all about? So it's an incredible initiative by Toy Kingdom. It's the first time in South Africa well that done, a shop man. has come on board and done this. Um, and so what they're going to do is for an hour from 9 to 10 on Thursday, the 5th of April, they're um, inviting autistic kids and their parents. They're going to dim the lights. They're going to make the music a little bit softer. They've created structured play stations. Um, and there's even a sensory room, which is amazing. So what happens is our kids can get really overwhelmed. Um, and they need to go to a place that's calming for them, so darker and a little bit safe more structured, place, yeah. a safe place. Um, and the shops even come on board and has created a sensory space that kids can go to. Um, and the idea is that we want to get as many parents and children there as possible to have a, you know, a toy shopping experience or a toy play experience where they don't face judgment if their child has a meltdown on the floor, if their child screams. 
Um, and if it's successful, they're going to do it on an ongoing basis. So I love that. Well, yeah, if nothing fantastic. else, you're going to make friends with people who are similar, uh, sharing a similar experience of life. And mm. I think we, we often kind of mistake it for an attitude, but it is a yeah. physical condition and something that can be helped. And I think that help extends to parents. So for more yeah. information, please, on autism in general or to find out about more of what's going on um, on World Autism Day and throughout this week, simply visit Autism Western Cape. Dot org dot za. Yeah. Kerry, thank you so much. Great, thanks so much.